Good evening. A woman's body found inside a home in the South Valley. The discovery was made earlier today in a neighborhood not too far from Decatur and Warm Springs. But police say the body had been there for many days. Sasha Loftus spoke with police and neighbors. She joins us now live in that area with an update. Sasha. Denise, you can see there are still a few police cars here on scene in this neighborhood. Now, this happened earlier in the afternoon. The neighbors we spoke with here say that it's really unsettling to hear something like this happen in such a quiet area. My husband came home from his workout and he said, honey, there's cops down the street. Many unsettled here in the South Valley as this scene unfolded. Hopefully people don't think like this is the norm because this is very abnormal for this area. Police say a woman's body was found in a home on this street near Decatur and Warm Springs. It does appear it's isolated it's between two roommates in the house. We do believe that this likely happened a while ago. Police say it had been there for about a week. Her roommate apparently indicated he knew she was dead and he was taken into custody. They were always real quiet people. Officers tell us while they don't know at this point whether the woman was murdered, homicide detectives are investigating. And we're not at each other's houses all the time, but you know, we're watching out for each other. It's something those we spoke with on this street say is especially unusual, but many call it a reminder that you truly never know what can happen. Everyone says you never know. They look like everything's innocent on the outside and then what happens behind their closed doors. Now there's no word on whether the woman's roommate will face any charges at this time. Of course, this is still a developing situation. Now police are asking anyone that may have any information on what may have happened here to contact them or of course contact Crime Stoppers to remain anonymous. Reporting live tonight, Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now.